Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, sovereign wayshores of the keepers of the crystal arc. After the powerful full moon in Gemini yesterday and the solstice doorway opened and activated, we have more major energies flowing into the field. We are on day six of the intense red serpent wave spell and the fifth day of ten galactic activation portals in a row. With each activation we rise higher and higher as our individual kundalini rises with the kundalini of Pachamama. As our portals within are open and activated, we travel through the blue pearl and into the crystal palace at the center of the brain. The powerful dragon energies ascend up the central channel, the Katika. Our Merkaba field of spinning light expands and refines to new levels of awakening. The crystal palace is in perfect balance and harmony. What would the world look like if all beings lived from the still center of peace and bliss? It would be paradise. As we resonate closer to the inner silence, the kingdom of heaven within, we magnify and mirror these codes and frequencies out into the collective field to assist Gaia and all her children in this great ascension process. As we inch our way closer to the zero point of the solstice in two days on the 21st, we feel more of this stillness, both within and without, and with the power of our almighty I Am Presence, we bring our world to perfection on this day of the eternal now. As we balance the gravity with the levity, the anchoring in with the rising above, we become the rainbow bridges of the new earth made manifest forevermore. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you today, so be sure to stick around to the very end. And if you could do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm to get our messages and energies out to more of our team of the 144. 222 coming in. And with these powerful, intense energies coming in, we had many earth changes and activations all over this realm. We had powerful storm and flooding in the Philippines from Typhoon Rai. They experienced winds of 195 kilometers an hour with gusts up to 270 kilometers an hour. Tens of thousands of people had to be evacuated. So our prayers, loves, and blessings go out to all of our people suffering due to these great earth changes. In Indonesia, Mount Semeru volcano erupted on the island of Java. This was another major release for Mother Gaia. We also had many activations all over the earth with 116 M1.5 or greater earthquakes, the most powerful Fiji northern BG 6.3 and this was at 1628 UTC on the ring of fire and then 53 minutes ago at 339 UTC in the root chakra of Pachamama we had a 6.0 these energies are really ramping up intensifying by the day we also had major sun activity and a 15 hertz manifestation on the Schumann charts earlier today Chile, South America, Kundalini Pachamama 4.3, Kuril Islands 4.4, Northern Alaska and the Crown of Lemuria 3.1, Philippines 4.6, California 3.1, South Sandwich another 5.0 activation, Peru, South America, the Andes Mountains, home of our sacred condor 4.1, Bolivia, South America, also along the Kundalini of the Andes, 4.5, Council of Nine coming in. In the portal, La Libertad, Sonora, Mexico, 4.8, 12, Divine Goddess, Puerto Rico, 3.1, Banda C, 4.6. Another two more activations in Chile, South America, and the Andes, 4.5, another 9.9, nine, 137 kilometers depth, 37 into 73, heaven on earth. Another 4.8 Chile, 12 Divine Feminine, 33 
kilometers depth, 33 divine mastery, synchronizing with the Schumann resonance yesterday with the 33 hertz. Indonesia, 47. Northern Alaska, we had a, another trinity of activations, 303431. Then the most powerful on Fiji, 63. Laos, 5.6. U.S. Virgin Islands, New Atlantean Energy, 3-4, Alaska Peninsula, 3-8, Itsu Island, Japan, 4-3, another powerful activation, Chile, 4-4, Divine 44 coming in, 108 kilometers depth, synchronizing with the Keen of two days ago, with Keen, 108 on the Mayan calendar, Papua New Guinea on the Ring of Fire, 5.3, Southern Alaska in the Crown, 3-0, Indonesia, another 4488 portal, Lionsgate, 148 kilometer depth, Willow, Alaska, 31, and then this powerful South Sandwich activation in the root chakra is the rainbow serpent and a feathered serpent rise together, 6 0. Guatemala, Central America, home of our Mayan elders, another 4.5. Council of Nine Energies flowing in, connecting us to our galactic families of light. The dragon lines are activated and flowing smoothly. All obstructions and interference patterns being removed and resolved, for all things are perfectly resolved in the unborn mind of Buddha. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck Beyond Lemoria from Izzy Ivy. The card she pulled for you today, another beautiful card, card 35, Lumen Essence. Self-love, the light that radiates from our hearts, light shining in the darkness, heart-centered living, removing your heart armor, accepting your shadows as the flip side of your strengths, a vulnerable wide-open heart, authentic heartfelt needs. When we choose to journey through life from our hearts, it illuminates the darkness. All illusion drops away and we see what is real. What does self-love look like for you? Self-love is often talked about, but we don't always consider its deeper implications. One of the keys for bringing heaven to earth is the realization of our optimal reality. To create a new earth, not dissimilar to the Lemurian utopia, we navigate or illuminate our journey through our hearts. When our core foundations are integrity and kindness, our choices are ethical, and our souls radiate warmth, hold compassionate space for others, and inspire others to carry it forward. Unfortunately, as we travel through life, we often armor ourselves to protect our hearts. We fear them to be delicate and vulnerable, but this is contrary to the incredible power of having a fully open heart. Sadly, we can toss parts of ourselves in the trash because we cannot see how they serve us, or they may feel too ugly or painful. Loving yourself is about accepting all of yourself including the parts you may consider less desirable. Self-love is unconditional. As we make the journey to wholeness, we see that the parts we have severed from ourselves are counterparts to our greatest strengths. We also realize the actions we thought benefited others when we went out of our way to please, fall short or fall away. In their place, we can allow authentic gifts to unfurl and bring luminosity to shared endeavors and environments. Consider how you relate to your world when you come to it from a happy place of fullness, doing things because you want to. Sometimes we feel we must give away our happiness to show we care for others. But when we live our joy, it affects others. Acting from uninspired obligation and the cloud it brings can hold no light to that joy. Remember your internal world reflects your outer reality. If you are met by less than ideal dynamics, they may hold a clue to your unloved parts. Accepting our less desirable aspects doesn't make the behaviors that may arise from them okay. Accepting your whole self means being okay with the foundations that created these insecurities and bringing them back into balance. A technique for painting light involves balancing the surroundings with a darker color. The darker the juxtaposition, the brighter the light appears. This is a great analogy for accepting all aspects of our deeper selves be real with your shadows so you can let more light in and shine brighter. Love is the most potent and healing tool that we have, and the more we feel, the more we create. It's contagious, too. The more we live from our hearts, the more we find it in our lives. So how do we kickstart the wholeness of being? 
be present and authentic with your heartfelt needs, have an awareness and a softening toward your unloved parts. It may seem easier said than done, but start seeing things from a gentler, more compassionate place, away from judgment. In the bigger picture, we are all doing the best we can with our circumstances. And today, from Divine Sister of the Light, Raylene Brady, The Return of the Children of the Sun King To bai i ko na riku Solstice expansion, we are totally immersed in solar and galactic splendor. The sun is conjunct the galactic center, 27 degrees Sagittarius, and Eltonin, eye of the Draco serpent, and with it a deeply potent remembering, not only of who we truly are and what we hold beyond time, space, and dimensions, but a grand opportunity to unshackle any and all holograms that have had us bound, hoodwinked into believing anything less than our sacred power is generated or bestowed from another's sacred source code. May divine grace and godhood prevail. Tobai i ko na riku. One who has remembered themselves is coming from royal stellar lineages. And from divine angel of the light Vrinda 888 Freedom Earth. Feel free to send signal invitations to your galactic family of light. They are waiting. I see all earth surrounded by most beautiful light. All beings immersed in it, blissful divine light, global heart awakening. Sending beams of light to galactic core, central sun, waiting for response. Energy is off the scale, preparing for the 21st. I visualize the best timeline, new earth, love, unity, incorruptible quantum system, awakened true leaders, abundance, happiness to all. Some last desperate attempts to hack some powerful souls on the New Earth timeline. But no way, we've got this. Victory of Divine Light. And from Divine Sister of the Light Aura 444. Feeling this next solar flare? Start grounding and hydrate. Activations are super strong for your diamond sun body, aka light body. We ground to anchor the light which also helps with ascension symptoms that are dizziness, nausea, and headaches. Your body is feeling sore from this influx diamond light activating your diamond sun light body. Ley lines have been able to receive this light allowing Agartha to push it back embedding these new codes. Ascension doesn't end at 5D, it's just getting started. That timeline is secure and there's no inverting. Victory of the light, time to celebrate, ground and anchor, meditate, give gratitude and connect to your soul and appreciate how far you've come in your journey. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Meg Benedict, 844 coming in. The galactic energy is building as we get closer to the 1221 solstice. So much is shifting and morphing within your being. This week is truly a peak moment of ascension upgrades. As the dimensional veils and time density continue to dissolve, it becomes easier to reconnect and embody soul presence. Love to you all from NewEarthCentral.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, Multidimensional Healing Ancient souls, feel the goddess frequencies uniting, awakening your inner core as we connect to the all-knowing of creation, the higher goddess light. For rainbow bridges are forming, cleansing and connecting our mother essence of creation, aligning the higher heart. In the coming days, feel humanity uniting, every being merging, awakening to light. We are the essence holders of this higher light. The many past lives, the many moments of recognition leading to now, to see your endurance advance soul, to make this moment in the now. I feel great rainbows of light around me, higher light codes, releasing, transmuting light. Love we share, light we emit. Together in global unity, we are uniting for Mother Gaia and the New Earth alignment. Love you, Light Family. Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Tony Millard. If you are feeling exhausted or off, this is not without good reason. You are literally being morphogenetically mutated and changed at the molecular level. Even your energy field is being bombarded and transmuted. Enormous energies are pouring in in massive waves. Many of us feel like we have been hit by a truck on some of these blast waves. 
Imagine the makeup of each cell within your body being hit with a high frequency blast of energy and light, which causes it to dismantle in parts, then reconfigure in a slightly different formation. Then imagine this happening to billions of cells and strands of genetic sequences. The amount of energy both hitting us and being used by us to complete these tasks is enormous. Your body and your energy field are going through so much, as is your state of consciousness. You are being upgraded, expanded, on every conceivable level. You'll have more and more incidents of high strangeness and visions, more vivid dreams and astral experiences, more telepathic exchanges, synchronicities, prophetic knowing. Take time to rest and hydrate where possible. Take naps when able. Slow down and focus on deep breathing throughout the day, hyper-oxygenating. Sit on and ground to the earth wherever you can. Her energy is calming and healing. As crazy and intense as it is, you are far from alone in what you are experiencing. It is happening to tens of thousands of souls right now, soon to be much more, as these energies continue to escalate and push into our reality. Keep an eye on the skies, the sun, and the Schumann resonance. All are playing a key role in where we are headed. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Aurora Ray. Beloved dear ones, all of you beautiful starseeds and light workers who have incarnated on this planet at this time to awaken your light bodies and help the planet ascend out of the lower vibrations, to set humanity free from the hold of the dark forces holding this planet in place. We once again appeal to you to raise your personal vibration and send out this message to all those who need it. This is the only way we can liberate all of humanity and this beautiful planet from all forms of slavery and darkness. As star seeds and light workers, you have come to Earth to co-create a new way of life. You have decided as a group soul to make the changes necessary to bring love and peace back to this planet. This is not an easy task as you will be met with resistance from the darkness of the current structures of society. Being a starseed and light worker often feels like being in a foreign land. You don't quite fit in anywhere. You feel different and alone. You may wonder whether you are part of this world, whether you belong here, what your purpose is, and why you were brought here. Many starseeds feel they are not from here or that they don't belong, yet they remain on the planet to fulfill their mission during this crisis times to raise the vibration of Gaia as well as humanity as we move into the new earth. The planet Earth is now in a state of grave crisis. The great responsibility of those such as yourselves is such that you must now take action to undo what has been done to disrupt the Earth's spiritual atmosphere. The dark forces are urging Earth's citizens to abandon their beliefs and return to sleep. They want you to forget about the pain that they caused on Earth and the suffering of millions. They want you to forget all that has happened in the past. They want you to deafen your ears. They want us to block our spiritual messages. To do this, they use their radio messages, television messages, online messages, mobile messages. They want to take your energy and use it not only to feed themselves, but to destroy the earth. The raw, free flow of energy has been hijacked by dark forces, which are part of the invisible. This flow of energy should have provided free health care, beautiful homes to live in, essential food, happiness, and prosperity to the people of the planet. But this energy flow was manipulated into making financial investments which resulted in certain individuals becoming extremely rich. You are all powerful creators. The time has come to shed the masks and get down to the business of bringing forth the golden age on this planet. It is time to get your power back. We can't continue allowing these dark forces to control humanity and, more importantly, the collective consciousness on this planet. Humanity is entering a new phase of existence. As this occurs, those humans with no souls will be removed from the earth. That's right. All who do not have souls will be removed or cleansed, as many people like to say. Do not blame those who perform the cleansing, for they follow the only path open to them, and they do it out of necessity. During these times of transition, you must learn to follow a different path and evolve into higher frequencies that allow you to pass through the portals that stand open before you. 
Gaia is alive and was created to become an ascending planet. Light frequencies are allowed to ascend, but not the lower frequencies. These lower frequencies are meant to be transmuted into higher frequencies. Gaia is transforming into her light body and becoming ascended while not destroying all life on her surface, including humans. Everything is shifting at great speed. The presence of star seeds and light workers on Earth is preparing Gaia for a new paradigm of contact with non-physical beings and acceptance of extraterrestrial life forms. Gaia will be cleared and upgraded to a 5D planet and become a light hub for this part of the galaxy. This has increased her frequency and vibration rate by nearly 1,000 times compared to just a few years ago. She has evolved into a new level of her existence and function. The central sun is now anchored into Gaia and has transformed her into a beautiful butterfly. Gaia is now ready for multidimensional resonance. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho! Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from the thegalacticfederation.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ramona Lappin. Organic Ascension Timeline Repair. The energies continue to build and ramp up as we get closer to the solstice and the 12-21-22 portal date. Since the M-Class Flare at 030 AM UTC on Friday December 17th, we continue to experience almost constant C-class solar flares ever since the 12-12 with 9 C-class and a couple of B-class flares. So there were 12 for today. Many timeline corrections, edits, adjustments, and resets are currently taking place behind the scenes as the old artificial matrix, its false memories, timelines, and holographic inserts continue to dissolve at quantum speed. Yet most of it is happening in our dream time and when resting in the unconscious. With some of the more deeply held memories finally arising now, from my experience we start to remember more of what really happened and who we really are. When we have cultivated enough compassion, understanding, and humility and are ready for higher perspectives to be shown to us. Today's activations brought a deeper healing of the Lemurian Holocaust timelines in particular as we are now returning to the one true organic ascension timeline to where Lemuria and Atlantis never fell and got invaded. Imagine that. Whatever we are resolving as a big soul theme right now at a personal level will be connected to these fallen timelines that we were part of as we are bringing these soul pieces back to us for integration. We are going back to the start, where things went wrong for us and also collectively, because we will have played our part in all of it. There will be something played out in your life that acts as a timeline bleed through, which means it's directly connected to another timeline, incarnation, or rather several, as it will be a big soul theme for each. Now we get to correct our past mistakes, experiences, and heal our trauma, which helps us recover our memories from other incarnations, lifetimes, and enables multidimensional merging. We are to put all those pieces back together, but we have to be able to face the truth and know thing but the truth, which now arises from within, and there's no one and no thing that can stop what is already unfolding. There is also nowhere to hide or run to. This is a cosmic quantum reality reset affecting all of creation. The One Consciousness what is unfolding now is a full disillusion of karmic imprints, debts, ties, hooks, attachments, connections, etc. with the lessons to be shown to us. Corrected history and memory codings, recodings are now unlocking with what looks like light language codes streaming in and braiding throughout our DNA and the planetary grid system. This will unlock our multidimensional DNA quickly now, and with it painful memories will likely arise of where we have given our power away or exercised control over others, where we experience trauma. With it we are now releasing any remaining victim and victimizer programming, associated thought forms and energies held at cellular and subatomic quantum levels. Overall, I have found in my own experience that we will remember now just how much we have been messed with, as we have more compassion, love, and a higher perspective to face the sheer immensity and trauma connected as it all releases and clears now. All is being revealed now. It's no longer a choice in wanting to know. 
Cognitive dissonance costs lives. As the understanding and forgiveness sets in, we are ready to transmute the remaining trauma. This is when all can finally resolve now, when we fully forgive ourselves for letting it happen and for our roles played, as well as forgiving others for theirs. The end of all wars. That doesn't mean we let the murderers get away. Oh no, they will literally disappear. They are not part of the new organic ascension reality. Hence, they will tell you whatever they can to try and have you extending their lifespan right now by keeping you stuck in the wheel of time focusing on the next date and the next forecast and the years of prognosis. Now our true memories can finally be unlocked from within our sacred crystal hearts, but we have to face the naked truth so we can correct our errors of the past and fully align and choose the one true organic ascension timeline as the artificial ones dissolve and collapse at quantum god speed now. This is all part of us retrieving our missing soul pieces and aspects. Otherwise, they don't feel safe to return. Any remaining ownership claims, contracts, agreements, promises, and vows made with the negative aliens and anything and all connected to these false, artificial timelines dissolves now and declared null and void. This includes the removal of negative alien inserts, implants, tags, signals, tracking devices. There is also a big clearing at etheric level going on this week and has been another huge victory on the grids that are almost all cleared now and pulsing and glistening with crystal and golden light. The etheric needs to be cleared before we can fully merge the higher dimensional layers into the physical, or we would have a horror show and no one needs that. This also means we have a lot of parasitic entities and energies being removed and released. Keep your energetic field clear and sovereign at all times, especially as all the gremlins are removed and of course you have to cut all their energy supply off. This is a hugely transformative phase and much self-care is required to assist this as ascension through our own. We are in between worlds right now, navigating dimensions and portals. We are receiving much rejuvenation and rehabilitation of our blueprints that are fully restoring and activating the divine template of the 144 golden strands of DNA. We are doing much sacred work as we are resting and sleeping, as well as collapsing all the artificial timelines now, as the most rapid quantum godspeed ever seen. Remember, it is already done, for so it is. Ascension is imminent. The victory is already ours and soon to be made public and visible. Keep merging with your ascended master, guardian, God source self, and new earth, Nova Gaia, now in no time in the quantum field. Be the frequency. Eternal love and blessings, Ramona. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. 144,000 gene codes are entering as rainbow light ray activations. These frequencies are entering from the great central sun. The Chohans of the seven rays are facilitating us in receiving these rainbow rays into our DNA. The crystalline light body is being activated to the new 144,000 gene codes. You are a prismatic crystalline being and are emanating the rainbow rays which cleanse the auric field and raise up your light vibration. You are now more crystalline and vibrating at a higher frequency. This is the embodiment of Christ we have all been awaiting. It is now entering the flesh and morphing the star seeds, the ground crew, into the new earth galactic human race. The portal is open. Take time to breathe in and out this new consciousness. All praises to the Most High. God bless you and your awakening. Love Carolyn from Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from here in the Moon Astrology, Sunday, December 19, 2021, winter is coming. This week's astrology delivers one reality check after the other. On the 19th, the Gemini full moon aligns with the galactic center and Chiron turns direct, just as Venus turns retrograde in Capricorn until January 29th. On December 21st, the solstice sun crosses the world axis into Capricorn. On the 23rd, the mean node of fate enters Taurus until 2023. Shifting eclipses in your chart across Taurus Scorpio for the next 18 months. On the 24th, the third exact Saturn Uranus Aquarius 
Taurus square of 2021 intensifies the collective clash between freedom and restriction. The stakes are high as Venus conjuncts Pluto. People everywhere will be extra sensitive, exhausted, and looking for someone to blame or scapegoat, whipped into victim mode by the media. In your own life, frame these reality checks as choice points, a simple shift of perception that immediately increases your resourcefulness. Instead of staying frozen in emotional and psychic overwhelm, choose to invest your skills, your time, your energy, your money, and your love only in people and activities that serve your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, social well-being. And that means deliberately dropping or deleting responsibilities that were never yours in the first place, along with soul-destroying alliances, habits, distractions, and denial. Seen from this perspective, the 40 days and nights of Venus retrograde in Capricorn is a once-in-eight-year opportunity to clear space for what really matters to you. Doesn't everything die at last and too soon? Tell me, what is your plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Mary Oliver, from here in the moon astrology.co.uk And from 13 Moon Peace Time Cosmic History Quote for Moon 6, Day 7 Higher dimensions are already all present here, but the higher dimensions are available only through the mind, understood as the medium of consciousness, just as space is the medium of the mind. From 13moonpeacetime.com And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 110, White Rhythmic Dog Rhythmic is the name for the number six, and its keywords are balance, organize, and equality. Each day of every wave spell is like an exercise, a habit that is good for you. Every 13 days we have a rhythmic day, which is really handy because it reminds us to get ourselves straightened out. We are now on the fifth portal day in a row, day six of the Red Serpent Wave Spell. It is more important than ever to get organized and rebalanced because of the intensity of all these portal days. If every wave spell is a journey, then this one is like a roller coaster. So pay attention to this instruction guide, the Zolkin. Tidy up your space and your mind and take care of practical things like finance. This is such a whirlwind, these 13 days, that no one could be blamed for letting everything go to pieces. But today we need to stop, get off that roller coaster and take care of business. Today is White Dog, which represents love, loyalty, and heart. The dog gives 100% to whatever he is into, whether it be very cool or mundane. If you are a white dog, I know that suggesting to you that today you get organized means that you will throw yourself into that process. We can all be as tenacious as dog today and get the job done. Remember the dog represents love as well, so love what you do, even if it's tedious, and help your loved ones if they are struggling with tasks. Organize with love. The guy today is also white dog, and so a double helping of that energy. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White Rhythmic Dog. Six Oak, Keen, 110, 19th of December, 2021, Organizing for Love. 19-3-2021 equal 10-3-5 equal 1-8 equal 9. Day Codes, 19, Prince of Heaven, Happiness, Fulfillment, Honor. 10. Manifestation, Authority, Leader. 1. New Beginnings, Original, Leader. 9. Endings, Destiny, Service, Humanity, Grace. Month Year Codes. 12. Acquiring Strength, Wisdom. 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, Communication. 5. Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation. 8. Infinite, Abundant, Source Flow. Keen 110 equal 2. Partnership, cooperation, duality. 110 equal portal for manifesting a divine partnership. Double the love day to day. Let your love flow. Day 6 in the red serpent wave spell of survival, instinct, kundalini rising, life force, passion, and rapid transformation through shedding our old skin. Today we learn that our survival, both as an individual and as a species, depends on uniting and co-creating with others through unconditional love. Tone of creation. Rhythmic tone six in the physical realm. Action balances. Power organizes. Essence equality. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all-adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk. 
but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts, and what superb balance we see. Very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. Go forth and explore your territory. Today is a day to find balance in the physical body by nourishing it with the right fuel, allowing greater light to flow through. In doing so, we are organizing on the physical plane to embody greater love. Humanity's survival and ascension depends upon the sun. As we bathe in these solar rays, allow the visions of the new world and the new time to integrate. Envision a new world where all will have nourishing food, pure water, and sunlight. The basic elements needed for building the strong life force, which is the fuel that will bring joy to our flight. As the kundalini energy flows through our physical vessel, flowing freely and vibrantly, we reconnect with our solar consciousness, now able to embody and express ourselves as the pure love that we are. I am that I am. I am divine love. Today's question is how can I organize my physical body, world as a receptacle for greater love to flow through? Divine blessings for increasing your heart's love quotient today. In la catch a la king, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 110, White Rhythmic Dog. The mantra, the code for today is, I organize in order to love. Balancing loyalty, I seal the process of heart. With the rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges on Patreon and donations that we're able to continue this work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Brothor of the Light, Maurizio Zapata Santos, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and Condor. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these transmissions to the world, you can do so with a monthly pledge to our Patreon link at whitegoldeagle.com, and if you'd like to make a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy, you can purchase your beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. She has a 20% off sale until the end of the month, so be sure to take advantage of that. Now we're going to complete today's transmission from our Pleiadian Brothors and Sistars of the Light. Pleiades 1 Messages, December 19, 2021. P1 Calling Terrans for Origins Recognition. Attention for calls and PVSE-SDE. Deep changes continue. MID cancellations continue. Final cauterization. Tube B. Recorks in progress. 66% non-regressive. Special projector for emissions anchoring. 66% non-regressive. Special projector for emissions and reverberation. 67% non-regressive. Ashtar. Conked Super 11, Active and Physical 1, Reverberation 52% Non-Regressive, Lemurian Pearls of Bearers, Reconnection, Support 68% Non-Regressive, Lemurian Pearls on Bearers, Reconnection, Reverb 66% Non-Regressive, Divisions Keep Shrinking, Angelic Realms are Definitely Established, Divine Providences Continue to Be Taken, Terrans continue to be called to Christic responsibility. PVSC, that plus, 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 elevate, plus, 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 alignments. Temporarily end of transmission, Pleiades 1, supporting anchoring an island of purification. From DisclosureNews.it 
And thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most powerful and blessed week ahead with this solstice energy coming in through the portals and into the Christmas portal on 25th as the sun, our Solaris, continues its journey back to the north. One degree north, he moves from the Tropic of Capricorn. And each day as he rises, the Great Mother rises together in holy matrimony in Heros Gamos. The eagle fly with the condor, Shiva dance with Shakti, the yin merge with the yang, the Christos with the Magdalene, the silica crystalline with the carbon. In this great transformation from 3D to 5D, from Homo sapien into Homo luminous, eternal beings of infinite light and infinite life of the pure land of the West. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. Keep shining your light brightly into the night, and be sure to make this the best day ever. 919 coming in. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.